September 5th against Marina Moroz. The location is still not announced yet, but I'll let you know when it is. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. This is your boy BJ back from No Filter MMA, and I'm back with another fight announcement. Now, this is this. Now, let me get back to my normal self. Now, my girl, Montana De La Rosa, is taking on, well, excuse me, excuse me. Marina Morose is taking on Montana De La Rosa. Okay, now let's break this fight down stylistically here now. Now, everybody talking about Marina Morose and her power and her striking, and, which is good. Now, Montana De La Rosa is going to have to be very smart with her striking. Now, now, let's not call Montana a wash, you know, when it comes to the striking department because we know that De La Rosa is not a wash when it comes to striking. Um, I'm not going to go through that spiel with y'all because y'all already know what I'm going to say. Uh, Montana De La Rosa is a very solid striker. So, um, like I said, I'm not going to argue with, I'm not going to argue that point with nobody. So, it is what it is. Um, De La Rosa is a solid striker with a good jab. And a powerful right hand. Montana's boxing is 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 very good. Her boxing coach, um, he, he he speaks very highly of working with uh, Montana De La Rosa on her striking. Um, her striking is very um, uh, rudimentary. It's very basic. Um, she sticks to the basics. Uh, she keeps it very simple. Um, you know, uppercuts, jabs, right hands. Um, you know, Montana, you know, it's very, she, she, she's good on the feet. You know what I'm saying? She's solid on the feet. She's not as good as Marina Moreau's on the feet. Um, now that is going to be something that is, that's a question right there that's going to have to be answered is, um, you know, how is this fight going to look on the feet? Um, cause Montana is long. Montana is big. And so is the Marina Moreau. You know what I'm saying? She's a taller girl too. Um, but Montana you know, sticks that good jab. But now Marina Morose is going to definitely have the speed advantage over Montana De La Rosa. But we've seen fighters have the speed advantage over De La Rosa. I mean, over, yeah, like I said, over De La Rosa before, you know, Nadia Kassam is a more polished striker than uh, uh, Montana De La Rosa. So is um, Amara Romero Barella. And we've seen what happened in both of those fights. And in the KGB fight, Montana was able to stay right there with KGB. So, you know, she lost that fight, but it was a split decision loss. Um, so I think it was a split decision loss. I'm not mistaken. But anyways, um, it's interesting to see how this this um, fight is going to look on the feet. Uh, now, <laughs> if this fight goes to the ground, the question is, can Marina Morose fend off Montana De La Rosa? Because Montana De La Rosa is, like, as far as, like, being strong and very wrestler heavy Montana is that style of fighter I mean look at what she did to Mara Romero Barella on the ground she beat Mara Romero up I mean look what she did to Nadia Kassam on the ground man I mean just beat him up beating mall people on the ground you know what I'm saying um you know so Montana De La Rosa has um has her hands full here with uh Marina Moros because as we know her takedown defense is good her striking is good, very fast, very sharp, very powerful striking for Marina Moroz. You know what I'm saying? So she is she is good. I'm not calling this a wash by Montana De La Rosa. What this is going to have to be, what type of fight this is going to have to be for Montana, Montana is going to have to be smart. She's going to have to be super, super smart. And, she, and, and this is the type of fight where Montana De La Rosa is going to have to dig deep. She may have to go somewhere and put her mind somewhere that it did not go in the Andrea KGB fight. Even though she was injured, even though she came into that fight with pre-existing issues, Montana is going to have to take this, take her mindset somewhere it's never been. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, this this fight could turn out to be that type of fight. You know, so guys. My girl Montana De La Rosa is here. Now, if Montana can beat... Now, a lot of people are talking about Marina Moroz. 
Okay, Marina Morosa, this is this, she's the future, this is this, she's that, she's that, she's that. If Montana De La Rosa goes out here and beats Marina Morosa, if she beats Marina Morosa, because they, they, they're giving De La Rosa, I mean, they're giving um, De La Rosa to Morose for a win. That's what they're doing. They're giving De La Rosa to Morose for a win. This is a this is supposed to be a win for Marina Morose. You know what I'm saying? We we know this. Just like they were giving Jillian Robinson to Courtney Casey. And that was supposed to be that been a win. So guys, I'm excited to see that Montana De La Rosa has a fight booked. Let's go. We are on this I'm on this journey with Montana De La Rosa. You know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? She kind of laughs it off when I say, you know, Montana, I, I support you 100 percent because I, I wonder, she's like, man, this guy really is a fan. This guy really is a fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, he really is a fan. Yes, I am a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay? So let's go. And if all y'all, let me tell y'all something. If all y'all think that Marina Morose is gonna go out here and smoke Montana De La Rosa, you've lost your mind. And you're gonna keep losing your mind. Okay? This is not this is not an easy fight. And now I've admitted that this is not an easy fight for Montana De La Rosa. So and it's definitely not gonna be an easy fight for Marina Morose. So just so just to let y'all know, just to let y'all know. This is your boy BJ back with No Filter MMA. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And I'm out.